All right, we want to scrape a you know a couple hundred Instagram accounts data uh, and then filter it on Airtable and make a beautiful Airtable that you can just manage hundreds of accounts. Okay, uh, that's about it. Now, this is not going to be a full Airtable tutorial because otherwise I'll sit here for a couple hours and do this, but I'm not going to because you guys aren't even going to watch it anyway. So what we'll do is we'll go Airtable.com. <coughs> Airtable.com. And then I created this new base right here. Um, and I, uh, I deleted all of the fields and I added a username, profile picture, bio, and then followers and following. That's what I've done so far. And then I changed the name on here. Um, and then I then went to rapidapi.com. Where, what is going on? And then I went to search and I found Instagram and then Instagram looter right here. Okay, um, then what we're using is we're using the get user uh, info by username. So which means we're allowed to put in a username and it'll search that and, and give us all of the details from it. So then I went into make.com so far and then we're getting ready to connect it all together. Um, scenarios. And then if we go into the, I think it was this one right here. I'll change this one and I'll say uh, YouTube test IG scraper okay so then i will actually just go ahead and delete both of these so that we can restart and we go air table boom we want to search records okay then i just made a new connection right here and i'm going to connect this base directly to the youtube uh test scraper and then i'm going to go from the accounts table is where i want it to be looking okay so now i'm going to click save and then i'm going to click http and i'm going to make a request now that I'm getting ready to make a request, I'm going to open this up as a split, and I'm going to find the details over here that I need to uh, essentially put over into the make, if you will. So what we'll do is we'll go one, parse the response, and then we're going to grab this URL, which is this right here, and I'll grab just this part here, so then I can plug the username in like that. So that's what the user out, UR, URL looks like. And then we're going to grab the headers, which is going to be header one right here. And feel free to use the uh, API key if you want. I'm going to be shutting down this plan anyway, so you guys can't actually use it. Um, but yeah, please don't hack me. And then we'll paste that there, and then we will come down here, and we'll paste this as well. Okay, so we have the URL, and then we need to add the query string, which is just going to be username, which is cool, which is why I like this API, is because you can scrape the data from the username there. And then the value right here, we're going to put username. So it is going to pull based off of that username, and then we're going to parse the response, and then we're going to run this module only, and we're going to confirm that it actually pulls the data. So Hunter Ezra, and then we'll click OK. And then this API doesn't exist. Um, so what that means is I did not put in the URL properly at all. So we'll go boom. Just like that. And then I'll reopen this up. And then I'm going to delete this and paste this, just this. And then we'll delete that little ending part. It's annoying that that thing keeps popping up. Uh, anyway, so then this is, oh, backspace on that. Okay, boom. And then, yeah, I did not type in the thing entirely correctly. That's why. So we'll do the URL for that second one is, uh, uh, okay, let's see. So we have URL, and then we have the header, and then we have Instagram.com. There we go. Boom. And then I think that that key should be fine. And then we'll update this to the username and set it to Airtable, and now we'll try and run this on Hunter Ezra, and then we'll click OK. All right, so now this is officially running, I'm pretty sure. It seems to be taking a little bit longer than it should. Uh, service is not reachable. Um, it might mean because we are not subscribed to it technically. Um, so I might need to put in, cause it seems to be pulling just fine. 
uh, over here. So what that means is I might need to actually subscribe to the plan and then how you do that on this new update over here as well. I'm not sure. Instagram change plan. I'll do this one. Um, let me add my details really quick. Okay, I just got done paying for the fucking plan. Um, anyway, now if I click on this and I click run this module only and I type in a username, Hunter Ezra, boom, I click OK. This should now pull the details off the account. Yep, and since we're parsing the response, it's much easier to look at. There are so many details that it gives you for some reason. Um, is private, username, uh, profile picture, et cetera, bio, following. Cool. So then all we're going to do is we're just going to simply um, update a record. So we're going to click Airtable, and then we're going to click update a record by its ID. I can close this over here, uh, and I can choose that same account. Uh, update your permissions. Let's do that. Base, same base, uh, and then table accounts. So now record ID is going to be this ID down here. Username, um, we already filled that. Profile picture, we're going to grab the file. So let's do, I saw it said like HD something. I think this is going to be it right here. Data profile picture, I assume. And then we're going to grab the bio, which is going to be here, which my bio is that. And then followers follower count and then following right here and then we're just going to click save cool and then we're going to click save right here and then we can open up this and we can put in hunter ezra the rock and uh i don't know anybody else on fucking instagram to be honest so i'm going to click uh run now and then we're going to see that it just scraped the rocks and then it just scraped Hunter Ezra's profile picture, following, and whatnot. Um, so now you can also do something like this where you go um, checkbox and you can do private. And then you can come over here and then you can update down here uh, where it says private. Uh, and then this one right here, we're going to want to map it to is private. Boom, just like that. So then now if we run this, neither of the accounts are private, so we should be chilling. Neither of these should update. Um, cool. So anyway, now if an account is private. So now what you can do with this is you can essentially take, um, let's say, accounts that need to be set up. Okay, so you can change this and you could be like um, needs set up. Okay. And then what you could do is you could duplicate this view and you can do... Um, account, uh, you could do something like day one um, profile picture, and then you could do uh, day two um, first post. You could do something like this, day three, uh, second post, and then you could delete this. Um, and then day four or day three. And then you can use these different filters. So you could be like um, filter uh, profile picture is not empty um, so that you know for a fact that they did it. Or you could do like day two, certain different posts and whatnot. Um, give me a second. All right. I just kind of took a look at one of my other air tables to like get an idea of like where we could take this. Um, so for an example, you could just have this say all accounts. And then I don't think this plan that I'm on right now allows me to create any sections. Oh, it does. Okay. So then now this can be like an account monitoring. Account monitoring. And then you could put like a, a red circle here. And then this will be like your account monitoring tab. And then underneath this, what you can do is you'll put your, I'd create a new section, honestly, as well, and then just have like a um, main high-level overview section. And then you could put this, 
right above in here. And then you have your account monitoring tab where you're just going to create a new grid and then make this a personal. And you're going to say um, followers uh, less than, let's say, 400. I guess that'd be more than 400. So let's do this. So let's say you're doing like follow and follow for an example. And you need to track, make sure all of the accounts are actually set up properly. I'm actually going to update this to a collaborative view, which I'm not sure how to do that. Not, okay, there we go. So then what you can do is then you'll add a filter and you'll say where followers are under 400. Okay. So then, um, or my bad, it would actually be the exact opposite um, where this is greater than 400. So then you go like this and then you go boom. And then what you can do is you can do um, following following is less than uh, let's say 40 right which means they're not and then you do followers is less than uh, 40 right here so our followers are uh, greater than 400 and our uh, following is um, or actually, I guess technically we would want to do followers are less than 400 and following are less than 40. So we actually did have it right initially. I was getting my data mixed up. So then you go like this, boom. And now any account that has you know, the following is under 40, the, all the accounts will populate here. All accounts that are followers are under 400 are going to populate here. Then what we'll do is we'll do another one and we'll do where posts posts are under uh, six. Well, however many posts your accounts are supposed to have on them, if they have less than this number, it means the accounts are not set up properly. And then you'll do the exact opposite and you'll say uh, greater than six, okay? Because um, if there's more than six, it means that they did it wrong. If there's less than six, it means they did it wrong, okay? So then you're gonna come over here Boom, uh, and you'll do posts. Oh, I guess we didn't scrape the number of posts, huh? So let's do media accounts. Let's do another number and we'll do posts or we'll do media count, okay? Uh, and then let's go through and let's uh, update the this to scrape the post really quick, the media account. Uh, Posts, media, media account, right here. All right, and then we'll run that, and then that should, in fact, scrape the media account. How many posts are on each page? Okay, so if the posts are greater than six, where the media account is greater than, um, Let's see, where posts are, or media, I keep, and then we'll do this one is this. Okay. So then now we get to see if like the posts are, why this is saying, oh, okay, yeah. So if the posts are more than six, then you have a problem. If the posts are greater than six, then you also have a problem. So the post should be perfect. Um, then, so now you have like, you can build out like your account monitoring. So if there's any accounts in here, you know that your team needs to go in and they need to fix these accounts. So then what you can do is you can do like grid right here uh, and you can make this collaborative and you can say um, accounts funneling now or accounts funneling. Jesus Christ, accounts. Uh, funneling and then you'll do a, a green circle here and then I would add a new section to section it off and I'd say like active use accounts something like that and then I'd move this up into it like that okay so these are all your accounts that are actively funneling which means you just then want a, a drop down or a single select and then this would be funneling status or you could do like an entire one and it could be account status. And then this can be um, pretty much based on 
I would like to move that over, to be honest. And then I can do funneling uh, suspended. Okay. Then it then gives you a new section where you have like account deletion. And then underneath this right here, you go grid and you could do accounts to delete. And then these would be any accounts where filter is status is suspended. So any accounts that are here that are suspended need to be deleted. Um, and then these are all the accounts that are actually funneling by just simply doing status is funneling. So these are all your accounts that are actively funneling right now. And then these are all your accounts that need to be deleted. Or you could go through like some kind of appealing uh, system here. Um, but then the point is like now you can do like accounts funneling. Uh, you could even do like another one where it's like uh, inventory or backlog. Or I'll just do um, inventory. Boom. Something like that. And then you can put this up here. And then this would be where account status is inventory. Something along those lines. And then you can change this to inventory. So now all your accounts that are inventory here, all your accounts that are actively funneling um, are over here. And then all your accounts that need to be deleted are over here. Um, and then all your accounts with problems and whatnot are in here. Um, but you get to like have a critical monitoring by just simply scraping all of the data off of the accounts. Uh, now, you are going to run into an error. If an account has been banned, for an example, it's not going to scrape that account information. So all you're going to do is you are going to wait for that error to happen. And then you're just going to ignore uh, you're going to ignore it. And I'm not sure how to do it without um, it actually happening. All you're going to do is just create, you're going to click ignore and it's going to make a new module and it's called the ignore module. Okay. And it's literally just going to ignore any of the problems that you have. You might be able to do it down here. Yeah, right here. Okay. So then any, any accounts that have any uh, problems, it's then going to allow you to configure this, or it's just going to completely ignore any of the problems and keep going. If you don't have the ignore, it's not going to stop. It's just going to keep going. Okay. Um, now, other than that, you can kind of get like a lot of flexible freedom, creative freedom on actually developing this and extrapolating it. Um, once you just scrape all of the info, but nonetheless, it allows you to set up thousands of accounts and then see the status of every single account and then see, uh, just exactly how um, they're being set up and if they're being set up properly or not. Now, before I end this video, I do have a new offer down below, uh, link in the description. It's pretty much an OFM licensing. I'm gonna give you access to every single thing, my entire agency, my VAs, my me. I'm gonna give you access to every piece of education that you could possibly imagine, plus coaching calls with me. Um, anyway, scale your agency from zero to $100,000 a month. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool offer, but other than that, um, link is in the description for that. You can apply for it. We do decline almost 90, 80 to 90% of people that even attempt to apply um, because it's a very prestigious uh, community that we're building. Now, other than that, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below, but I uh, hope this was helpful. I know it was like really fast, but it was because Airtable can really take, you know, 10 hours of my time because I just love the platform. Um, but other than that, uh, I'll see you.